UTEP, the University of Texas at El Paso, celebrated its centennial in 2014. Dating back all the way to 1914, UTEP was previously known as the State School of Mines and Metallurgy. It was the popularity of local mining conventions that sparked the idea for a mining school. Before that, however, the El Paso Military Institute was established. Enrollment would soon decline due to the revolution in Mexico, and the Military Institute's land was handed over to the University of Texas Board of Regents under Senate Bill 183. The State School of Mines and Metallurgy was under the supervision of Dean Worrell. A fire at the original location on Fort Bliss forced the relocation of the School of Mines to a 22-acre lot on the foot of the mountains overlooking downtown El Paso. It was here where the unique Bhutanese architecture was first implemented. Old Main, Graham, and Quinn Halls are among the first buildings constructed. As undergraduate and graduate programs were expanding, the school's name was changed to the Texas Western College in 1949 and soon to the University of Texas in 1967. Just as UTEP has made history and continuing to grow, it has also made some great highlights in sports history. Speaking of history, UTEP's architecture has its own. Its architecture is based by the Bhutanese style, provenient of Bhutan, officially the Kingdom of Bhutan. It is a landlocked country in South Asia at the eastern end of Himalayas. It all started in 1917, when an accident got the Texas State School of Mines and Metallurgy into fire. After that tragedy, the school dean's wife, Kathleen Worrell, saw an article of a guy who traveled to the Bhutan on a National Geographic magazine. She was really impressed with its style, too. She convinced her husband to do the university with the Bhutanese style. Yes, we can say that the beautiful UTEP's architecture is based on the Buddhism culture, thanks to Kathleen Worrell and Steve Worrell, but also to the collaboration of the architects such as Henry C. Trost, Percy McGee, and Robert Leon White. The first buildings to be built were the main, now known as Old Main, Old Dormitory, now Graham Hall, Chemistry Building, now Queen Hall, and Powerhouse, now Prospect Hall. Although recently YouTube sports have not had much success, they do have a great history behind them. For example, in 1966, Texas Western won a national championship in men's division one basketball, defeating Powerhouse Kentucky. This was a great accomplishment not just because they won, but it was the first time that five African Americans all played at the same time, helping helping break the black barrier in division one sports. YouTube footballs. Glory days were also in the mid 1950s, winning two straight Sun Bowl games, defeating powerhouses like Florida State and Mississippi. During this during this time, UTEP had lots of great players drafted into the NFL, but one that stood out the most was Fred Carr, who was drafted fifth overall in the draft by the Green Bay Packers. Having a great career, he was inducted into the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame in 1983. Volleyball was not always a part of UTEP. It wasn't until 1923 that women were allowed to participate in Division One sports. Volleyball is still a work in progress, just like women's basketball, soccer, and tennis teams as well. These sports don't have as much history like basketball or football. Hopefully these programs will and will make us all proud one day. YouTube now is more known for its nursing programs, engineering programs, and its track and field team. Hopefully we can switch that and have a great sense of pride in our YouTube sports. Story of basketball coach Don Haskins, convincingly played by Josh Lucas, and his underdog team from El Paso's Texas Western University, who would not only make sports history in one defining moment, but also break down another section in the wall of racial discrimination. Coach